I believe this is a matter of urgency, which is why I have moved for a suspension of standing orders to have it debated. We have got a situation in Australia where going to war is a captain's call, and that is wrong. We are talking about the lives of Australian service men and women, and they are being deployed because the Prime Minister of the day decides that is what he wants to do. And in this case, the captain's call is even worse because he made it and then decided not to tell the Australian people about it because a journalist wrote a story in a newspaper saying that he considered sending 3,500 troops for Australia to unilaterally invade northern Iraq, and so he put off telling the Australian people because he didn't want to suffer the backlash from that particular article and he had to hose that down. Meanwhile, goes to New Zealand Mr. President, and allows the New Zealand Prime Minister to announce the joint force that will be going to Iraq, the Prime Minister of New Zealand to say there'll be 143 uh, New Zealanders. And here we finally find out after a delay, after they've dealt with the adverse story in The Australian, where one journalist stopped a nation from being told that another uh, 300 troops is going to go to Iraq. And so now we've got a situation we've got we have got the uh, 200 special forces. We've got 400 in the air force over there. Now we're going to have another 300. 900 Australian servicemen and women on, Tony, on the Prime Minister Tony Abbott's captain's call. We are still suffering from the captain's call that John Howard, former Prime Minister, made in 2003, sending us into the war in Iraq based on a lie. Now, as for the Labor Party going along with this and saying they support it and putting a ridiculous uh, caveat, and one of the caveats uh, that they have put on it uh, is that uh, if the Iraqi security forces engage in unacceptable conduct or the Iraqi government adopts unacceptable policies, Australia should withdraw. We know now they are engaged in unacceptable conduct. We know that the, the mess that is the Iraqi security forces is fighting alongside Shiite militias which are conducting massacres and conducting uh, killings. 72 innocent people were killed just last week as a result of Shiite militias uh, engaged in bad behaviour. Now, ISIS has behaved in, app in appalling behaviour as well. Let me be very clear. We are talking about barbaric behaviour on both sides. We also know Iranian generals are fighting with the militias that we will be fighting alongside, and we also know those militias are better paid and better weaponed than the security forces we're supposed to be going there for. And my question is that the Australian people need to have an answer to is why are they going there? For how long? To what purpose? To what end? The Prime Minister has never made that clear and he still can't. It started out as humanitarian aid, and I said then this will be a mission creep. This will see us engaged in a quagmire in Iraq on the back of a captain's call. We have a prime minister who is a pugilist who knows nothing other than hitting out, and he is sending Australian troops, men and women, into Iraq. We're now going to have 900 of them there, and to what end? For what purpose? And as to their engagement with the Shiite militias, what does that mean for Australian troops? We are already in a quagmire and a mess in Iraq, and this is only going to make it worse. We've already had the uh, military uh, out there saying that, in fact, uh, the, the, um, they are there where the situation we're right in now is you have to build capability and confidence because they're saying the morale of Iraqi security forces is decimated and undermined, their units are fragmented, and we think we can fix that, do we? Do we seriously think engaging with militias in, and seeing them engage in inhumane and disgraceful behaviour alongside ISIS doing exactly the same is going to sort out the Middle East? This is a bad call, and the parliament should decide. This should not be up to a prime minister. This is something the community honestly thinks out there, that the parliament sends Australian troops. Well, we don't. The prime minister makes the call, the captain's call, and it is ill-considered. It has Thank not been you, explained. Senator it's Nell. wrong.